What is cooperativism? Come on, let's find out and learn. Nature, concept, and principles of cooperativism. A cooperative is an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic, social and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprises. Cooperative businesses are special because they are owned by the members they serve and because they are guided by a set of seven principles that reflect the best interests of those members. Cooperatives are voluntary organizations, open to all persons able to use their services and willing to accept the responsibilities of membership, without gender, social, racial, political, or religious discrimination. Cooperatives are democratic organizations controlled by their members, who actively participate in setting policies and making decisions. The elected representatives are accountable to the membership. In primary cooperatives, members have equal voting rights, one member, one vote, and cooperatives at other levels are organized in a democratic manner. <music> members contribute equitably to, and democratically control, the capital of their cooperative. At least part of that capital is usually the common property of the cooperative. Members usually receive limited compensation if any, on capital subscribed as a condition of membership. Members allocate surpluses for any or all of the following purposes. Developing the cooperative, possibly by setting up reserves, part of which at least would be indivisible. Benefiting members in proportion to their transactions with the cooperative, and supporting other activities approved by the membership. Cooperatives are autonomous self-help organizations controlled by their members. If they enter into agreements with other organizations, including governments, or raise capital from external sources, they do so on terms that ensure democratic control by their members and maintain their cooperative autonomy. Cooperatives provide education and training for their members, elected representatives, managers, and employees so they can contribute effectively to the development of their cooperatives. They inform the general public, particularly young people and opinion leaders, about the nature and benefits of cooperation. Cooperatives serve their members most effectively and strengthen the cooperative movement by working together through local, national, regional, and international structures. While focusing on member needs, cooperatives work for the sustainable development of their communities through policies accepted by their members. There are two types of membership in FCCT, Associate Membership and Regular Membership. A regular member is one who has complied with all the membership requirements and entitled to all the rights and privileges of membership. An associate member is one who has no right to vote nor be voted upon. Provided that an associate member who meets the minimum requirements of regular membership continues to patronize the cooperative for two years and signifies his, her intention to remain a member shall be considered a regular member. Associate members are those who are not within the common bond of membership and or minors below 18 years of age which, upon compliance of the conditions set and upon recommendation by a regular member may be admitted as associate member, subject to the approval of the Board of Directors. <music> Cannot take part in the decision-making but can provide suggestions to improve the services and management of the cooperative. has no right to elect and be elected as officer of the cooperative. 
entitled to receive information regarding the cooperative's product updates and newsletters, has limited access to other products and services of the cooperative, may graduate into a regular member. Regular members are natural persons, Filipino citizen, of legal age, with capacity to contract, who satisfies the common bond of membership and has complied with the following conditions. Had attended a pre-membership orientation or seminar and thoroughly read the reasons for being with FCCT. Had paid 200 pesos membership fee. Had subscribed at least 4 shares of 1000 pesos per share can qualify for the different loan services with restrictions, is entitled to a dividend and patronage refund at the end of the year, can vote but cannot be voted upon, may graduate into a member in good standing or mix, had at least 500 pesos savings deposit. He or she has the right to take part in the general decision making of FCCT. To avail the products and services offered by the cooperative such as production inputs, supplies, tools, equipment, consumer goods, marketing of their produced, processing, insurance, mortuary, savings and credit facilities. Undertake to uphold the bylaws, policies, guidelines, rules and regulations promulgated by the Board of Directors and the General Assembly. Members dual role. Member as owner. Rights. To participate in the deliberation during membership meetings, to vote on matters brought before such meetings, to seek elective positions, to avail oneself of COOP services, to receive interest on capital and PR. Duties. To contribute to the capital, to participate in the decision-making through GA and other membership meetings, to patronize regularly the services of the co-op, to obey rules and regulations, to serve when elected. Member as customer. Privileges. To receive quality services, to be provided with efficient services, to be treated well by staff, to receive interest on capital and PR. Obligations. To settle obligations on time, to suggest improvements, to patronize the co-op business. Termination of membership. Withdrawal, automatic termination, that is, death, insanity, insolvency, or dissolution of a member, and BOD majority vote for any of the following causes. Failure to patronize services. Failure to continuously comply with obligations. Violations of the bylaws and the rules of the cooperative. Other acts prejudicial to the interest or welfare of the co-op. FCCT's membership shall be open to all persons who are 18 years of age and above, with capacity to contract or heads of the family and are residing and or working within the area of operation as defined in Article 3 of the Cooperative's Articles of Cooperation thereof. The prospective members should pledge to undertake the responsibilities of members, complete the prescribed pre-membership education seminar or PMES, and must pay the minimum requirement for share capital contribution, and use or anticipate to use the services of the cooperative. Membership Subscription Agreement Form with 1 2 by 2 ID Picture Pay Membership Fee of 200 Pesos Attend Pre-Membership Education Seminar or PMES Must be 18 years old and at least one year working or residing within the cooperative's area of operation. An applicant for regular membership shall subscribe to at least 4 common shares, that is, 4,000, and pay the value of at least one share, 1,000, upon approval of his or her membership and pledge to continuously pay in regular basis and must have a savings deposit of at least 500 pesos. Prior to the approval of applications of new members to the cooperative, they should meet the following requirements. 
The application for membership shall be made in writing on the form provided by the cooperative for such purpose which specified the number of shares that the applicant will subscribe, membership subscription agreement, and shall be presented to the Education and Membership Committee for action. He or she must attach one 2x2 two two picture in his or her application form has to pay membership fee of 200 pesos, which amount shall be returned to the applicant in case of rejection, must have a complete attendance to the pre-membership education seminar or PMES. In case the applicant had missed a session, he or she has to make up on the session where he or she was not able to attend, must be 18 years old and at least one year working or residing within the cooperative's area of operation, with regular source of income. An applicant for regular membership shall subscribe to at least four common shares and pay the value of at least one share upon approval of his or her membership and pledge to continuously pay in regular basis his, her subscribed capital share. Has signed the member's oath as agreement to follow the rules and regulations of FCCT and promise to adhere to the principles of cooperatives. Members of stable standing, most. It is the highest classification of FCCT membership. They are members who attained ratings that range from 91 to 100 points and in no case have missed even just one instance in paying their loan amortization, no delinquency. They had been a MIGS for at least six months and paid up share capital of at least 15,000 pesos and average daily savings balance of 5,000 pesos. Only members of stable standing can seek election to any elective position in the cooperative, such as members of the board of directors, committees, and or other elective positions, can qualify for the FCCT leadership succession program. They are the first preference to avail the services and benefits offered by the cooperative and are guaranteed 100% approval of his, her applied loan can participate in the deliberations during membership meetings and vote on matters brought before such meetings and be voted upon. Inspect and examine the books of accounts, the minute books, the share register and other records of the cooperative during office hours and to exercise other rights and privileges of the membership. Member in good standing, mix. It is the second highest classification of FCCT's membership who attained ratings from 81 to 90 points, had been a regular member for at least six months and paid up share capital of at least 4,000 pesos and average daily savings balance of 1,000 pesos. <music> Members in good standing. MIGS cannot seek election as members of the board of directors but they are allowed to run for committee and other elective positions created by the board. They are the second preference to avail the services and benefits offered by the cooperative and are guaranteed 80% to 90% proceeds of his, her applied and approved loan can participate in the deliberations during membership meetings and vote on matters brought before such meetings and be voted upon may graduate into most inspect and examine the books of accounts the minute books the share register and other records of the cooperative during office hours and to exercise other rights and privileges of the membership regular member this is a membership classification wherein the member achieved 71 to 80 points and needs improvement in the performance of his or her duties and responsibilities had subscribed at least four shares of 1,000 pesos per share and average daily savings balance of 500 pesos. Regular members cannot seek election to any elective positions in the cooperative but may be appointed by the BOD on any BOD-created committee except that of constitutional committees. They are the third preference to avail the services and benefits offered by the cooperative but can only avail a maximum of 70% proceeds of the loan he, she applied. Can participate in the deliberations during membership meetings and vote on matters brought before such meetings. May graduate into MIGS. Inspect and examine the books of accounts, the minute books, 
the share register and other records of the cooperative during office hours and to exercise other rights and privileges of the membership. Associate Member They are minors aging less than 15 years old and or grown up or adult members who only transact deposits and availed microfinance and or quasi banking services and client of blower and stability loan services. They have also gained less than 71 points. Can participate and avail of the microfinance and quasi banking services of the cooperative. Has no voting right but may graduate into a regular member. All other privileges to be enjoyed by most and MIGS members are deferred and cannot be availed by still an associate member. The criteria in classifying whether a member is most, MIGS, regular or associate shall be based on the compliance of his or her duties and responsibilities as well as participation in the cooperative activities. Each member shall be given a maximum of 100 points every year which, as much as possible, shall be maintained at all times. However, the given points shall be deducted every time a member failed to comply with any of the four set criteria. The cooperative will inform the members of the activities they're initiating and will encourage their participation. Whenever a member missed to comply with his or her duties and responsibilities, he or she will be deducted of the following points. Capital build up. A five-point deduction shall be subtracted from the member's total points every time he or she missed to comply his or her pledged monthly share capital subscription or CBU and failed to settle such within five days after such miss. Savings deposits. A five-point deduction shall be subtracted from the member's total points every time he or she missed to regularly deposit monthly to their savings accounts and failed to settle such within five days after such miss. Loan payment. A five-point deduction shall be subtracted from the member's total points every time he or she missed to pay his or her scheduled loan amortization. Attendance to co-op activities. A two-point deduction shall be subtracted from the member's total points every time he or she missed to attend any cooperative-initiated activities, branch or chapter assembly, training or seminar. The BOD member handling the portfolio on education and membership development, with his or her members of the committee, supervises the classification and rating of members. Rating is every six months. The result of semestral rating will be furnished to the election committee for filing and will serve as basis of qualification and disqualification in running for any elective position in the cooperative. 